हे गाइस आई एम ईशान एंड वेलकम टू साइबर नाइटिको सो इन दिस वीडियो लेट्स लर्न अबाउट प्रॉमिस इज नथिंग अबाउट इन रिएक्ट हाउ टू इंप्लीमेंट देम सो लेट्स टेक एन एग्जांपल फर्स्ट ऑफ अ रियल लाइफ प्रॉमिस दैट सेज आई प्रॉमिस समवन टू बी माय फ्रेंड ऑन वन कंडीशन दैट आई गिव हिम अ चॉकलेट एवरी डे इफ आई फेल टू गिव हिम अ चॉकलेट इवन ऑन आवर डे और सिंगल डे और वन डे he will break the promise and he will not be my friend now let's implement this in react so what we will do is we can create a let friend function inside we will have a syntax for promise which will say new promise it will take two things which is resolve and reject so if the promise is complete done it will be dissolved or else if it fails it will be rejected now let's create a condition for promise so let's create a variable first so let is chocolate every day if it is true only then the promise will resolve so we have to do this so if this is true is chocolate every day if this is true we will call this resolve and we will pass some params which will say promise resolved if it fails so it means if this variable is false is chocolate every day we will reject it we can say reject and a message called promise broken so that's done now we have to call this function called friend so we can do it like this so a friend function then we will use then block so then for resolve statement which will return us a response if it is successful so in this then block we will call this response and we can simply console dot log this response and we will get this message here promise resolved but if it fails we have to call a catch block which says an error or let's make this simply as dissolve to simplify things and this one as reject clg reject now open the console and let's see what we are getting in the console refresh okay something is wrong friend is not a function so what can we do here let friend okay fine make it as const then it will work okay the problem is this is not a function so let me clear this save and let me refresh the page now it will work so promise resolved because we are resolving the promise it's true then it's returning this thing or else if it fails it will return this so make it as false because we fail to give chocolate every day so it's broken we can add a custom message here as well like this so we can say or just wrap it in a template little string and we can add our text no dot add here dot dot here and say no more sorry not here do it here like this that will say no more f r i e n d ship no more friendship and now we will get the extended message here with this promise broken message no more friendship so that was promise in react now let's take one more example for promise here in this promise one it is a function and it's getting a parameter called param1 if the parameter we pass it's nishant it will resolve else it will reject in the second function we are passing param2 and if param2 is promise resolved this resolve text it will be resolved and print this or else this basically we will link these promises together 
in a chain so we can call the promise one first so say promise one we will pass some params let's say nishan then it will resolve because the param was nishan then as per condition it will resolve it will return us some message in the then block say response we can console this response and let's see what we get let's also call the function in user effect hook to run when the page mount so open the console this way press the page we are saying promise resolve text line number 27 because the promise has been resolved and now see this promise to takes a param to and if it is equal to this promise resolved it will resolve this else it will reject this so we have to chain one more then here so say then and here we can say uh, response again response or we can say f response for first response and s response for second response then we can console dot log this s response but we are not calling this function if we save and run it will be undefined because the function is not getting called and this is null or undefined so we have to call promise to here and we have to pass this f response here so let's do it and pass this f response now it will work refresh the page we will see promise resolved and undefined wait s response is getting passed here promise resolved the text is right let me add one more block called else or catch error block so the catch if it is any error then we can say mm, error error and console dot log this error now we are reading this promise resolved again and undefined but we shouldn't get this then s response we are calling this promise to okay the problem is we have to return this function not simply call it like this it will not work so return promise to and f response now i will get these two both so let me console it or just go back and return this function now refresh it once we will get promise resolved and nishan is a good boy so basically we are getting first response and second response if we make this promise rejected here or change the text we will get some errors you see we are getting promise resolved from the first response and shan is still a good boy from this reject statement but if we change this thing this should be let's say shellish so it will not go inside this then block because it will directly reject the first promise it will directly go inside this error so if we refresh and save we will get promise rejected let me refresh once more we will see promise rejected because on the first level we are not resolving the promise so it will not get inside this block it will directly go inside this block and it will reject the promise so that was promise in react and how to use it so now let's look into async await part in react so what is async await it's nothing but sing tactical sugar on our promises so what do i mean by that is let me show you what i mean by that so in order to make a function asynchronous we will have to use async keyword here now the function is async we have to call await now so uh, we have to call the function now this is promise one function so it simplifies the way we write promises that's all nothing else so we will await this function promise one and await means 
everything else in the promise or in this promise made function will wait until this function is finished executing. So let me record the response in a variable called response or res. Now let me console this res to see what we are getting. We should say nothing or we should reject it because the name is Salish here, not Nishant and it's not matching together. So open the console. Console. We will see from is rejected because the name is not matching. So let's pass Nishant here or make the param1 equal to Nishant. Now I will see promise resolved because it's getting resolved. Fine. So it finishes, then everything else will run because we have an await here. Now let me call promise2. So let me call promise2 using let res2 response to equal to await promise2. And we have to pass this response here because it's promise resolved. It's will, it will come here and then it will print this if it dissolves. So we can console.log second one as well, which will say res2. And we can save the file and check. Refresh it once and we will see promise resolved. And Nishan is a good boy. Fine. But we cannot catch errors here. But we, I mean, if we want to catch errors, let's say we don't pass anything in the promise to where is it here. Let's say you pass something else called some random text. We will get this message here. So we cannot add a custom message we want in this async await. Oh, because, but we can. So what we have to do is we have to wrap it in a try catch, try catch block. So try, all our code will go inside try that can fail. And then if it fails, we will call catch like this. Is that right? Do we have to call catch like this? Let's think or try. So in the catch, we can say console.log. Uh, we can say promise rejected. I think we don't have to use this. Save and now let's see. Yes, that works. Promise rejected because we are passing some random text here. Note the text that's here and being compared to param2. So promise rejected because you know why. If we add res here, it will resolve again. Sorry. res respawn. Refresh. Promise resolved and Nishant is a good boy. So that was promise and async await. Now let me, okay, let me just copy this. Let me make this async main. Change the name and add it here. Fine. Now let me do this. Copy the function or the use effect hook together and go back to promises page or where we wrote the promise code and simply paste it here. Wait brothers and so on. Okay. Challenge this should be not here. Should we make this Nishant? Yes. Let's add the function here. We already need one use effect hook because we can call one use effect hook and two functions. Two birds with one stone. So we have promise main. This is the syntax of promises. This is a syntax of async await. Async await. So you can decide which one we are, do we want to use. If you want to use promise or async await. I prefer async await because the code is shorter and simplified not this then and then and catch. So that's up to you now. And that was all about promises and async await in React, the implementation.